Good evening again. I got a feeling I'm going to be doing more three video days soon. Let me give you a verse of scripture. It is out of Colossians 3, 2. And it says, Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. That's why we're saved, how we're saved, and why we're kept saved. If you hear a tune, that's my <laughs> washing machine going off. So Very annoying at times. But anyway... <clears throat> It is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't uh, deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust, um, in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, and you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, teach you, change you if you let him if you let him there is several developments going on right now um i gotta give you this <laughs> i gotta give you this a japan bound united flight was just diverted to lax after the tire fell off during takeoff now that's that's big I mean, it's, you know, the reason why I bought this up, because I don't usually bring up stuff like this. Now, <clears throat> I was on the phone with a friend of mine, and he said, let me guess the flight number. And I screamed on the phone. Listen to this. A Japan-bound United Airlines was forced to divert to Los Angeles International Airport when the plane lost a tire taking off in San Francisco. The falling landing gear from United Flight 35 damaged several cars in the parking lot after the Boeing 777, 777-20 took off around 11.30 a.m. according to the airline and airport officials. So the Boeing 777-200 plane took off and everybody landed safely. When he said, <laughs> when he said on the phone, don't tell me the plane number 777, I didn't even know. I thought, oh no, that's impossible. I looked and sure enough, it was 777. And I'm like, <laughs> what more do you need? What more confirmation is there? What more signs do you need? Really? A plane, 77, Boeing, 777? Really? <laughs> it's comical. Thank God nobody was hurt. But that is definitely a confirming sign right there. <laughs> that we are getting ready to take off with no dropping of the tires, folks. Now, <laughs> this just came in about Russia. And this is off of RT, and it says that Russia threatens to expel U.S. diplomats. Now, something, you know, you can't help but to feel that something is about to go down. I don't know what. I don't know where. <clears throat> And it might be the banks soon. I'm just saying. It might just be. I Something is going on 
and we don't know what. But Washington-backed NGOs in Russia are allegedly recruiting agents under the guise of educational or cultural pro uh, projects. U.S. diplomats working in Russia who would seek to work with certain non-governmental organizations uh, designated by Moscow are undesirable and may be expelled from the country. The foreign ministry told the ambassador Lynn Tracy today, the American envoy was summoned by the ministry to notify her about the changed legal status of three organizations that have the backing of the embassy she leads. The statement said, Russia says these NGOs are working on <clears throat> projects of anti-Russian nature, which are aimed at recruiting agents of influence under the guise of educational and cultural exchanges. So she was issued a formal notice, which demanded that Washington's embassy cut all ties with these outlawed groups. Among other things, his website and social media should remove all mentions of the three. Moscow will act to prevent any subversive actions and dis, uh, disinformation of disinformation up to and including declaring embassy staff pers persona non grata should they violate the Russian law, the statement said. So something, is, I don't know what's going on there, but something is definitely, something is definitely up. Now I got this, it says senior Russian military colonel. It says a possibility of a full scale war in Europe has not been ruled out. Things are heating up is an understatement. So a senior Russian military officer warns that the conflict in the Ukraine could escalate into a full-scale war in Europe and says the probability of Moscow's forces becoming involved in a new conflict is increasing significantly. <clears throat> So a Colonel General, I think his name is uh, Zaranovsky, head of the Russian Army's Military Academy of the General Staff, made the comments in an article for Military Thought, a defense ministry publication, the state IRA news agency reported today. The, uh, the possibility of an escalation of a conflict in Ukraine from the expansion of participants in proxy forces used for military confrontation with Russia to a large-scale war in Europe cannot and will not be ruled out. So the main source of the military threats to our state is the anti-Russian policy of the United States. Now remember, those first strike policies are no more. So it says the main source of the military threats to our state is the anti-Russian policy of the U.S. and its allies who are conducting a new type of hybrid warfare in order to weaken Russia in every possible way. Limit it limit its uh, sovereignty and destroy its territorial integrity. The likelihood of our state being purposely drawn into a new military conflict is significantly increasing. Now, <clears throat> The war in Ukraine has triggered the deepest crisis in Russia's relations since the 1962 Cuba Missile Crisis 
And Putin has warned that the West risks provoking nuclear war if it sends troops to fight in Ukraine. Putin has cast his decisions to send tens of thousands of troops <clears throat> into Ukraine in February of 2022 as a special military operation designed to secure Russia's own security against its increasingly hostile U.S.-backed Ukrainian leadership. I got a strange feeling that NATO is about to start something. I don't know why. I don't know. But this is what I'm... I'm feeling right here. <clears throat> um, Kiev says it is defending itself against an imperial style war of conquest designed to erase its national identity. Well, this Colonel General Zoranovsky comments came at a time when the West is scrambling to help Ukraine with more arms and financing after Kiev's failed counteroffensive last summer. Now, I had just read somewhere this morning where I think is either somewhere in Europe, they're sending Ukraine, I don't know how, I gotta read, I gotta look it up. It's either drones <clears throat> or something of that sort that they're sending Ukraine. This general advocated a number of changes in a way that Russia organizes its military and security, security RIA added, including placing greater emphasis on relying on what, what he called friendly countries to ensure Russia's own security and consolidating uh, the whole of Russia society around its defense needs. Now, Russia's also having a little tiff with Germany right now. <laughs> Is, you know what? There is so much going on. We don't even know the, 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 the gist of all this. But there is a lot going on. And it is way worse than what I'm reporting. And what anybody else is reporting. Um, <clears throat> this is not good. Now, here, right here, Americas are to Americans are told to avoid gatherings in Moscow, Russia, amid report of the extremists' imminent plans to attack. This just came out also. The U.S. State Department's embassy in Moscow told American citizens to avoid large gatherings in Russia's capital city amid reports of imminent plans to attack by extremists. Now, I heard something today, New York City, Muslim, subways. Now, I don't know what's going on, but I, I just have, I, I cannot shake this feeling. So it says in a security alert today, the State Department said that there are monitoring reports that extremists may target large gatherings, including concerts in the next 48 hours. The embassy is monitoring reports that extremists may have imminent plans to target large gatherings in Moscow to include concerts and U.S. citizens should be advised to avoid large gatherings over the next 48 hours in the alert. Now, as far as New York goes, I don't know. I, this is what I'm hearing about New York. I haven't seen any concrete proof, but someone had a video out earlier about New York and the subways. Um... <clears throat> Things are getting worse, way worse, and it seems like it's by the hour. But this goes on to say that the embassy told residents to avoid crowds, monitor local media for updates, and to be aware of their surroundings amid, threatened, amid heightened threat. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the U.S. Embassy in Moscow has routinely advised Americans living in Russia to take security precautions. In February 2023, the State Department ordered all U.S. citizens in Russia to leave now, immediately. I did a video on that last year. U.S. citizens residing or traveling in Russia should depart immediately. <clears throat> uh, 
the U.S. Embassy in Moscow warned. Again, exercise increased caution due to the risk of wrongful de detentions. And a stark message the department also said, do not, under no circumstances, travel to Russia. This came out today. All Americans have been warned to find a way out of the country now. Now, again, they did this last year, and they're doing it again now. They're telling people to leave now. Uh, find a way out of the country immediately and remind it that U.S. debit or credit cards do not work in Russia. And the electronic transfer of funds has become increasingly difficult due to sanctions. <clears throat> this just came out today. As a matter of fact, it just came out a few minutes ago. So if you're in Russia right now and you have no money, because basically the uh, like he like I just read, the U.S. debit and credit cards do not work in Russia. And the electronic uh, transfer of funds has become increasingly difficult due to sanctions. What do you do? This is awful. They're telling people, just like they did last year, they're telling people now, leave. And this time, last year, I didn't hear too much afterwards that anything really concrete happened except what was going on with the war. Something is about to go down, and I cannot shake this feeling. I don't know whether it's there. I don't know whether it's here. In the U.S., I don't know what, but something is about to happen. I'm going to link all this in the description box, and uh, if anything else comes up, I got to go pick up Zach, so if anything else comes up, I will, I will be back on. I will be back on. But in the meantime, um, you know, and if you're not having, and I want to say something because someone had wrote me tonight and asked me about this. If you're not having visions, dreams, um, if you're not sensing anything in the spirit, that don't mean you're not saved. It just means that some of us are more sensitive to this than others. I, I was never this way. And all of a sudden, I just started drawing closer to the Lord and all these things started coming up. So that don't mean that you're not saved because you're not having dreams, you're not having visions, you're not having any of that. You're still saved. You're still saved. Ask him for it. Talk to him. Um... Draw closer to him. That's all I can say. Uh, but yeah, you're still saved just because you're not having all this. But I, if anything else comes up, um, I'll be back on. Thank you.